Okay. So. Okay. So we got. We couldn't cut it out on the band saw. So we had to do it with a regular saw. Now we're going to finish it off by going through with the band saw. You're going to trim everything up? Yeah. What is this for? This is for camp. Or camp Chautauqua. Lake Chautauqua. Or Chautauqua Lake. Where's it at? New York. All right. What are you making? Swim bait. For musky. what? Musky. Musky. You're going to make your first swim bait for musky. What kind of wood are you using? Mm. P-I-N-E. Pine. <laughs> All right. Let's see how this thing turns out. All right, what next? Cut out the whole bait. All right, let's get it going. Let your saw get up to full speed first before you put your wood in there. Stop one second. All right, hold on. We gotta do some adjustments. Okay, so we just did the blade, blade what? Blade guide, maybe? Blade guide. <laughs> so our um, blade wouldn't wiggle on us. So let's do it again. Go slow, okay? You're fine, bud. We can sand all that, okay? Start turning. Start turning the wood. Start turning the wood. There you go. Turn the wood. Turn the wood. Don't even move it. There you go. Keep turning the wood a little bit. There you go. Good job. Okay, so we finished our first profile of it, and I made a little mistakes. There and there. Yeah. Not a big deal. Yep. How many times you use the bandsaw? <laughs> That's what it takes, bud. A little bit of practice. What do we got to do now? I don't know. Sand it. There we go. There we go. Let's get this thing sanded. Okay, so we're going to start sanding. So, my dad was doing a spoon lure out of a knife, so I just went ahead and cut out my own lip. That ain't too bad, bud. Oh, did you already cut it out of Lexan, too? And taped it up. Yeah. How do I know that's going to fit in there where it needs to be? Oh, sorry. Uh, I spoke too soon, right? Right there. Right there. Yeah. All right. So, what do you think we got to do now? Glue this in. Glue it in. We're going to epoxy it in, though. Yeah. All right. What do you think we need to do to make that really stick in there nice? I don't know. Well, we're going to have to rough up these edges so the glue will adhere to it. Okay. What does adhere mean? Adhere, stick to. Oh, you could have just said stick to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's get this stuff mixed up. All right. Okay, my dad's doing this so I don't get epoxy all over my hands. <laughs> so we got the lip. We got the line, uh, not the line tie yet, but we got our hook hangers. We got our holes that we're going to put the lead in. Um, he really wants to paint this tonight, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get to it because we still got to get lead in here. We still got to 
get this thing sealed. We got to get the lip dried, get a hook line tie. We got all kinds of stuff to do yet, but it's coming along. It's going to look good, bud. Isaac's first time. Oh. Oh, put your, put your other bait up. You get this stuff on you, bud, and it don't stop burning. Just slowly. Right there. Switch hands. Just barely lift it up. Right there. All right. And just let that cool. Not too bad for your first time ever pouring lead. Bait's looking good, buddy. Let's keep it. Okay. So, my dad wasn't videoing, but I put, I went ahead and put the lead in, the screw eyes in, and the line tie in. And we drilled the hole and we cut the lip out. So we got we're using a different kind of airbrush because it does bigger than that one over there. So we're using a G22 instead of the G25. Right? Here, shut your eye here real quick. Stop. Turn no. around here. No. Let me see the eye shadow. No. Come on. It's a badge of honor. It's the G, I'm sorry. 25. G25. We use, regular use the G22. Excuse me. So, let's go ahead and start. What color are you going to paint it? Jeez, that's out. <laughs> yeah, that is. What what color are you gonna finish finish it in once you get your base coat of white? Perch. Perch. Nice. All right, let's get this thing painted because it's gonna take a lot. All right, Isaac's getting a base coat of yellow on here. Because it's gonna be a yellow perch. I'm gonna show you what we got installed or Coming up next for this Mama Jam. Oh, okay. out of paint. That actually does actually. Yeah. All right, let's get it filled back up and get it. All right, Isaac's got his um, stencils cut out. His stencil for his gill pattern that he wants, so or his stripes that he wants. What do you want to call them? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get this first one done and then we'll move on down. closer bud a little closer splatters splatters oh there we go okay let's move on to, oh hold on can't be moving it out of the way too quick okay hold that side with that one. You gotta hold your paint right. There you go. Not too close, not too close. Jesus is getting hard. Okay. This is pretty hard. I got this side. You get that side. Hold your, hold your brush down some. I wouldn't do it that way because you're going to spray up. Okay. Move on down. Not too bad, and this will all go away when you put the white in here, okay? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Let's see that. Not too bad, bud. <laughs> Let's go show my brother. All right. Let me hear what he has to say about it. Hopefully, we got enough paint to do the other side. Yep. 
So the stencil is actually made out of these paper shapers. My wife, she used to scrapbook a long time ago. And then that was the pattern. So we kind of cut like reverse Christmas trees. And we're just using flimsy uh, construction paper. That's why it was blowing everywhere. But hey, you know, he's got to learn somehow. All right. Isaac's got his stencils done. Let's see the other side. Buddy, that ain't, that ain't half bad for your first go at it. And the, those might be the little dots. Bye. Yeah, yeah. So we'll cover all this up with white. Yep. Okay. Fade all that in there. Yep. All right. Now what are you going to do? Black for the top. You're going to do black all the way down the top and down the sides a little bit? Yeah. All right. Let's... All right. What are we doing? Black on the top. On the top. With the so, smaller airbrush. You're going to kind of do it. You're going to kind of fade it on the sides when you're done? Oh, Let's turn it sideways. All right, go ahead. Now I'd come back here and just barely get it right through there if you can. Oh, out of paint. And this, see this kind of splatter right in here? Uh -huh. It's, you're too far away from it right now. You got to get just a little closer to keep your splatter away from it. All right, now come down on the sides a little bit. There you go, there you go. Look at that. Look how it just faded in there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now just turn your bait around. And do that. A little closer, a little closer. Oh. That brush puts it out. Little in the middle, little in the middle. That's good. Look at that, buddy. I put some right through there. A little closer. Right through there. Yep. Oh. We're out. What do you think? Looks good. You like that? Mm -hmm. Let's see it. <laughs> for your first big bait, hold it down here so I can see it. For your first big bait, you ain't doing too awful bad there, biggin. All right, now what do we got to do? White on the bottom, right? Yep. All right, let's go. Okay, so now we're going to do the belly white. All right, let's get it going. There you go. A little closer, a little closer. There we go. Fade it in on the side. Hold on, do this side first, and we'll turn it around. Gotta get a little closer, a little closer. You don't want to block it out too much. See what I mean? Yeah. That's why you gotta get closer. There you go. There you go. All right. There we go. All right, That's do the bottom a little bit more. Put it over here on this side. Let me see on this side. See that right through there? Yeah. You want to cover that up, okay? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to do some fins with orange. Fins. Yeah. Since we don't have any fins, we're just going to spray it on there. Why don't you just kind of lightly mist the orange over the white?
Is that all the orange you're gonna do? Yep. I'd finish using it up. There you go, there you go. I wanna leave a little bit of white. All right, that's fine. You got white on the side there. Yeah. Okay. Here, maybe go just a little light coat of orange along the side. Just make it quick. That's good. Now do the other side. There you go. Dude, let people see what you're doing. Alright, that's not bad for your first swim bait, bud. Not at all. You're doing perfect. Done. You're done? Put the eyes in and then dip it. We're going to dip it? I don't think we're dipping this one. Or, we're going to be painting I mean, this one. Painting it. All right. All right, we're putting the scales on it. Down a little lower. Whoa, too tight, too close, too close. Yeah. Get down in here at the bottom. Okay. I see it. Okay, that's good. Let's get this other side. Let me get the top. Oh, that side's got to be tightened up a whole lot. Hold on. All right, all we have left to do, well, you see the googly eyes are in. <laughs> so, what we're going to do now is Isaac's going to use the Minwax fast drying polyurethane. We're going to put one coat on it now, one coat on it right before they go to bed, and then tomorrow we'll finish it off with some epoxy, and this thing will be ready to roll. So, here's what we've got. And his first... Big swim bait in a perch color. All right, bud, go ahead and start putting some on there and see what this thing looks like. And you start getting it on there. Is it starting to pop? Like, pow, 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 pow. Is it popping? You like it? Huh? Don't paint my fingers with polyurethane, please. All right, let's see on the side here. Put some on your brush. It's more on there. You gonna use a sponge brush instead? We could. Go ahead and finish that up. Looking pretty good. Alright, well we're gonna finish this up and we'll show you when we're done. All right, this is gonna be Isaac's first attempt at using a glaze coat here. You have part A, part B. We're gonna measure out about an ounce to be able to cover his bait, uh, just so we can get good coverage on it. Uh, he's gonna use his little vise here to put it on and get it painted. But this is his first swim bait attempt. Uh, we're going to be hook, putting some hooks on it. You see that back there in the back. But let's get this stuff mixed up. And I'm going to turn it over to Isaac to go ahead and get his bait coated. Okay, so I am going to paint it with this brush. You still got some nice eyeshadow going on there, bud. <laughs> so let's get the painting. Painting or sealing? Or sealing. Your first epoxy coat on your bait. Start, yep. Go ahead and get it on there. Don't be shy. Put it on there. Caleb, will you run upstairs and get mom's hair dryer so we can just kind of make sure there's no air bubbles in it? She's using it. Okay. So we'll show you what it looks like when he's done. All right, how's it coming there, Biggin? Good, I'm almost finished. Almost finished? 
Mm. Uh, I have to say, why do you have silver glitter on the table? What are you, you getting ready to do something kind of crazy here? Yep. What? Mm. Are you? Yep. Let's see if we can get in here. Look at that. You're getting shiny. You're getting it on your jacket. I'm not. Yes, you are. Oh, just a little bit. I'm going to get up under here. All right. We'll show you what we're going to do with that glitter. This was Isaac's idea. Hibachi chef. Hibachi chef. <laughs> it's looking good. So the next step in this process that Isaac's going to use is he is going to take this extra fine glitter, put it in his mixture here, and are you going to go along the top of the back? And maybe a little bit on the sides. A little bit on the sides. Well, we'll see how that turns out. Looking pretty good so far, bud. We'll go get mom's hair dryer to take those air bubbles out yep. and get things going. That's good. That's good? Yes. You sure? Yes. All right. Get it mixed up. Don't, yeah, don't use the start in there good. Ooh. It's going to be glittery. Start in there good. Much. No, you're fine. We're learning. Start in there to where it's all good. Mixed all the way down towards the bottom and stuff. All right, here we go. One stripe. Right up the middle. Look at that. I ain't looking half bad, bud. You want to put some more in there? Get you some more in there. I'm going to put some on the sides, too. There's Caleb over there. He's been sick, not feeling well. A little bit up the side there. This is coming soon. What? This is coming soon. All right. Don't forget the other side over here. Oh, I know what I can do on the tail. There you go. Hey, this is yours, bud. You make it whatever you want it to be. This is mine. All right, get your other side. Oh, it's already kind of on the other side. Yep. You can see it in there just a little bit. You will mix it up a little thicker? Make it more, or are you good with that? Huh? You good with that? Yep. All right. Looking good. All right, Isaac's getting any air bubbles that he finds out of it. Anymore. Got a little bit of on the nose here. I can't really get to it. Okay. We'll get to it the best way you can. Here. I'll block some heat there. Unless. All right, not, don't hold it in, two, in one spot too much. Just give you an idea what this is going to look like all the way up. But for, oh, for, for your first big swim bait. You know that, guys? That's really hot. <laughs> it doesn't look half bad, big guy. That is really hot. All right, let's Ooh. let this dry. We'll come back for it tomorrow. Okay, so this is Isaac, and we're going to give you the outro of the 10 inch, 10 and a half inch. 10 and a quarter. 10 and a quarter, yep. 10 and a quarter inch um, swim bait. And we, it is a perch color. And we kind of put some sparkle up at the top. Yep. You can see it there, bud. And it couldn't fit our whole entire, um, <laughs> whatever it's called. Display. Display case. So we just done it like that. That's not bad for your first swim bait, buddy. What are you going to make next? I no idea. <laughs> you don't know yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> we got to get Caleb oh, to yeah, get his Oh, yeah, and done. actually somebody said at school they wanted me to make one for them. What they what they want? I don't know yet. I'll ask him on Monday. All right. You got a name for this? Mega Perch? Megalodon Perch? No. <laughs> Duh. I'm making an odd name on the either. 
What? The googly eye perch. The googly eye perch. All right, there you have it, folks. The googly eye perch from Isaac Johnson. Done a pretty good job. He done everything. You'll see that you you've already seen that. So let's get this thing uploaded. You ready? Yep. It's gonna take us a little while, but hey, thanks for all the support. We're almost at eighty three hundred subs, which is crazy. Uh, I we still appreciate it very very much. We're trying to get to ten thousand before May thirty first. Do you think we can do it? Yes. All right. That's when school lets out. Y'all be good. And always remember. No matter what the season, we got you on our side. You got that right by now.